Today, at the iPad 2 event, Apple announced iOS 4.3. First of all, it increases Safari performance with the brand new Nitro JavaScript engine, which should be great, especially paired with a dual core processor in the iPad 2. You also can now stream media from iTunes using HomeShare, which has definitely been a long time coming. Another nice improvement is the addition of an option for iPad users to choose what you want the iPad rotation lock to function as, either for muting or locking the orientation, which is certainly something that a lot of people have been asking for. In addition, if you're an iPhone 4 owner, you'll now be pleased to know that you will get an option for the personal hotspot that launched on the Verizon iPhone 4. Photo Booth for iPad was also shown off at the event. It's largely the same as on the Mac, with a variety of filters that allow you to make real works of art. Well, something like that anyway. You can also manipulate the video with touch as well, making it a solid addition for the new iPad. FaceTime is of course included as well with the iPad 2. It works just as you would expect, allowing you to video chat with other iPad 2s, iPhone 4s, iPod Touch 4th generations, or Macs. A lot of people, myself absolutely included, have been hoping for iMovie on the iPad 2, and Apple has absolutely delivered. iMovie is now a universal app, and with it, you get a precision editor, multi-track audio editing, as well as a very nice UI that is reminiscent of an old theater. There are many new themes and sound effects included as well, making the new version of iMovie look absolutely great on the new dual-core iPad 2. It will be available March 11th. Another big app people have been hoping for is GarageBand, which is now going to be available on the iPad. This version could very well be better than on the Mac, with options to use the touchscreen to play the various instruments, including the piano, organ, guitar, drums, and more. You can get all the effects you would expect out of GarageBand, as well as up to 8 track recording and mixing. Just like iMovie, this looks robust enough to use for real work, and should prove very popular at only $4.99. iOS 4.3 will be available March 11th for the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. Overall, I'm very impressed with all the new software announced today, but what do you think? Be sure to leave me your thoughts in the comments below.